everybody, and welcome back. My name is Sue, and I am from OML Embroidery. And today, we are going to be learning a new technique. And I'm really excited about this. It's called reverse cut work. Yay, reverse cut work. <laughs> Your enthusiasm requires more coffee, Don. I've had one and a half. Yeah, it's not enough. It's not enough. So, hi, everyone. Uh, nails. Yes, let's talk about nails. Purple, because that's been my favorite color. And butterflies. So we've got big butterflies. It's hard to see on this camera, but you'll see it more when we're working. And little butterflies, hearts, and a little umbrella, because I just wanted to see it. It's cute. So, butterflies are the design of the day. So, fun. Um, this design is from Anita Good Design. Um, if you want to get it, you don't have to. This is about a technique. However, these are stunning. If you want to get it, it's uh, over on anitagooddesign.com. And there's a 50% off code. And I think these are beautiful. So what I've done here is since I get my Anita Good Design digital and I'm using my iPad to see what you guys are saying, I printed out just the pages that we need. And I thought that was a great way of doing it. It's only 10 or so pages, but then you can see, you know, if I wasn't using my iPad for this, I would have it open right here with me and then I can use my pen or my finger to mark things off. But you got to work with the cameras and the chat and everything. Is the code still good? Yes, I heard the code is still good. I think Misha or Sandy said it's still working. So. Oh yeah, we scroll up, it's been posted thanks to our wonderful moderators, which I don't know what we'd do without. Um, so let's go over what this is and what makes it, it different. Um, because this is a really cool technique and I can think of some applications. I'm actually happy that it's on a small one so we can really go through it and understand what we're doing. So first we're going to, you know, just set it up as normal. There's no backing. So we're going to get the outline, put our fabric over, stitch it down, and we're not cutting it out. So the next is going to stitch out these two little circles which are going to form the ladybug which is really cute the next step this is interesting the next step it's kind of it's reverse because we're going to cut inside this is the key inside the circle um, and we're using water soluble stabilizer so make sure you don't cut through that yet so cut as close to the line as you can I have my little pokey scissors for that. These are going to help get it started and I'm going to see if these guys are going to work properly or if it's easier to cut it through there. We got everything we need. And then you flip it over to the back and great scrap buster, tiny little piece here and we're going to tape it on. And once we do that, it's going to stitch it down and then we're going to cut it out like a regular applique and keep it as neat as we can and then we can't see the red through it doesn't look like we did anything but you remove the water soluble stabilizer how cool is that then we can see the red and it has a nice margin it's about to get nicer though because it does fancy stitches on it and a decorative um stitch so it, it's gonna look perfect and then we move on to just regular appliques just how we normally do it now all of the designs in this pack are gorgeous oh wait we're gonna finish all the detail work and we're gonna flip it over to the back put the backing on face up and stitch it down and then trim it out as normal and then we're gonna do the satin stitches so I think the designs in this pack are wonderful. I didn't print them all out, but you can check them out on Anita Good Design. Um, I think this one's really cute. 
But for some reason, I absolutely love the birdies. So it, it's yellow and it has a yellow satin stitch with a bean stitch through it. And I think it looks amazing like that. It really makes them stand out. So And of course, flowers. It's a really nice effect. And um, I'm going to try every month. Um, Anita Good Design has new techniques in their designs and i'm gonna try to kick it up a notch and get everybody working on you know new things let's learn let's take our time let's make mistakes and let's learn so i found this little scrap of red and we're going to use that for the ladybugs i'm not sure how well this is gonna work but this is for the flowers and it's just like a cloud shape and then it's going to do flowers on it so it's either going to look really good or you won't be able to see anything which would make it really bad um so we'll see how that works i liked it because these are pansies and pansies are beautiful but the purple matches i have some scraps of purple fabric um from making a cap for my daughter a surgical cap so when she goes to work and I just thought looks nice so for thread I made life easy on myself and I pulled out my exquisite thread which are bright bold colors so this is going to be for the flowers inside this which I really like and a burnt orange that's actually on the machine so I'm going to leave it red for the ladybugs and these are going to be the leaves and I completely forgot purple I guess I need a purple outline unless you guys think we can use one of these colors maybe the yellow might make it stand out what do you guys think yellow just don't forget to put the back on Misha says I actually forgot to check my bobbin. I just did, so forget I said that. It's three quarters full, so we'll be good to go on this. Green is asking if you're using McDreamy or Ragnar. McDreamy. McDreamy. Camera's already set up for there. I am going to some of the bigger quilting projects. I'll be using Ragnar, and we have acquired a third camera, so we're going to do like a split screen that you can see Ragnar stitching, and you can also see what buttons I'm pushing on Ragnar, because there's a couple of tricks that I regularly use. So we will work on that. Got to get it set up. Uh, next week, I have a gorgeous design to share with you. I had a, not a vision, but something I wanted to do that I notice other designers ha haven't done yet, and it's flowers, and it's going to match the one we did last week. It's just a little bit bigger, um, and it's it's really cool. I'm really happy with it. So, okay, five by seven hoop, nice water soluble stabilizer. I don't think you can get away with the plasticky type. Anything like bookmarks and mug rugs, you should have this fabric-y type. And it looks a lot like the poly mesh, so what I do is I put a big um, WSS on the inside of the tube, so I always make sure I get the right one. Uh, I have to put the water-soluble stabilizer away in a drawer. I just used to leave it out on Ragnar. However, I often found lick marks from our Beetlejuice, Beagle Boy. He was licking it, and ew. So, yes, if you have big dogs, put it away. It, it, I kind of laughed. I'm like, who was licking my stabilizer? Well, it wasn't Beatrice, and Sam works a lot, so yeah. So that's how I make sure I get the right one. And Don will say, is this washable or is this the cutaway? And I say, look inside the tube. Big Sharpie WSS. He's like, oh, okay, that's good. So are there any questions about this technique? I think it's going to be fun. And I'm glad we're doing it on 
a bookmark. I love making bookmarks for people. It has always been one of my favorite things to do. My favorite of anything is uh, lace bookmarks because they're kind of set and go. Uh, I really enjoy them. Um, but this creative level of bookmarks, I'm going to be so happy to do it. I keep the labels from the rolls inside. Yeah, we don't really get labels like that, though, where we buy it from. So, um, yes, Alicia. Is Alicia, show Alicia showing up as moderator? Because, yeah, Alicia is awesome. Welcome to the team. I'm glad you could be here with us. And as always, thank you to our moderators and everyone who enjoys our Saturday time together. It's awesome. Um, Margaret says, bookmarks are good to tuck in snail mail letters to a friend. Yeah, there's so many uses. And you can get really cute ones and you can put, you know, ribbons and tassels on them. And it's just... Uh, a nice gift. I just, everybody reads, everybody has a cookbook or a book book or something like that. So I think it's awesome. So are we ready to do this? Hopefully I don't make any mistakes, but if I do, then we'll know how to get around it. So no batting, just the fabric. I'm going to start off with this gorgeous purple because Apparently May is purple month. Maybe June will be more of a purple month. Um, and uh, let's go to McDreamy, Don. McDreamy's up. Thank you. All right, so I have a beautiful burnt orange to start off. Now, normally I would say switch to white or something like that. But if I use white, then you guys can't see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to... Just leave the orange on, just because it's on. Just because it's on. And uh, let's get McDreamy rocking. Okay. Beep, 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 beep. First step is placement. So let's go ahead and do that. Hi, McDreamy. Good morning, by the way. Everyone says good morning. I love McDreamy. I was saying that the other day. It's been so long since I used a single needle machine, and it seems weird that I went from all these multi-needles to this one. I love this one. I love all the bells and whistles because, let's face it, I'm a nerd. So, nerds rule, by the way. So, yeah, I love McDreamy. Let's see if my scrappiness is going to work. So I'm just sliding it on. If you feel that you want to secure it down, maybe a little uh, ironing could have been called for but I didn't so there so this is gonna stitch it down right if we follow our instructions I'm just gonna follow along because it's a new technique so we can see what we're doing oh we got to do some trimming after this I think after this part well there's a little bubble in it but we'll happily cover it over won't we so, stitching it down twice. Yeah, I might have uh, ironed it. That, that might have been a little bit better. You're not using any batting, right? No batting. I suppose you could, but there's a lot of stitching on it. It should be fine. Okay, so we're down. We're not going to trim it right now. We're going to save all the trimming till the end. The next step is starting our reverse cut work. So it's going to stitch down two circles for me, and that's where we're gonna trim carefully the inside. Oh good, I thought they were really small. <laughs> I'm happy, I'm, I'm very happy. It's a little bit fiddly. The key to this is don't cut the stabilizer until the end of it sort of thing. So, so cute for a bookmark. Yeah, I should have ironed it. Oh, no. Okay, so we're going to have to go back to the desk and see how well we can do this. Are you up to the challenge? Uh, me? Yeah. Back to the desk. Desk's up. Thank you. Okay, so because it's a little loose here, I would have liked to have maybe 
hoop that a bit tighter, put it on a bit tighter, but that's okay. So I've got my instructions here and the next step is to cut out the fabric in the center. So it's reverse of what you'd normally do. And it's just the fabric you're cutting, right? Specifically just the fabric. Do not cut the stabilizer. So I'm going to be really careful with this one. Um, when you're cutting out, yeah, see, you can see my stabilizer. When you are cutting out um, something like this, small scissors, small little cuts, um, because if you make a boo-boo, you might be able to save it if you're only making small cuts. And of course, as always, take your time. I'm going to put this more in the center. I'm going to move my pretty colors over here. Thank you very much. Right in front of the dreamy. I also have my painter's tape out so I can um, hold the fabric down. I know McDreamy doesn't really like it, but he's not not happy with tape. So just little snips. We want to get it as close as we can to the line. And these are pokey scissors too. So you got to make sure you don't jab into the um, water soluble stabilizer. Lynn says good morning. Oh, good morning, Lynn. Everyone say hi to Lynn. Is mom watching today, Don? I would imagine so, yes. Okay, well, hi, mom, as well. I'm focusing on my trimming. So these are kind of small little circles, but not too bad. I don't think you would want to do the technique on something really small. I think it would be difficult. I forgot to say, I have my stabilizer cut down. Don't do that. I do it for the camera. Um, leave it. Leave it if there's like a couple of inches. I always say that before I start, but I forgot today. I did say about the bright colors to tie down everything, so I just forgot the second part. So that's not too bad. It's easy with the right scissors. I am not going to try my big uh, duckbill ones for this. If I was doing a larger one, I might. I might do it that way. But for now, this is looking pretty good. Just carefully. Make sure you don't pull too much, too. You don't want to loosen everything up. I hold the fabric up to put a little tension on it. But I'm not, you know, pulling really hard on it. It just helps get closer. So I'm pretty close. I'm pretty happy with uh, how these little scissors are working out. Just make sure you don't poke through. You don't want to be pokey. Boop. You don't want to be pokey. No pokey? No pokey. So make sure you use a color that you can see. Okay. So that's cool. What do our instructions say? Your trimmed fabric should look like this. I'm going to say check, check a mundo, check a rooney. And then we have to uh, remove your hoop from the machine. Well, I kind of did that though to trim it, but okay. Flip it over. Flip it over. And we're going to put our little bit of red fabric going on. This is just, you know, quilters cotton. It's not even a huge deal. It's just a, a scrappy. I try to keep larger scraps going on. So I'm just going to cut this part off so I can pretend that I actually ironed it. We'll put it aside so we don't need to worry about it because it's ironed and nice and flat, right? And then what we're going to do is put it down and put it, I guess I could have left that as one piece and made my life easier. Probably, but I wanted them bigger. I know in the instructions they have little itty bitty ones. I wanted it a little bit bigger so you guys can see it better. And so McDreamy holds on to it. So all you have to do is cover it. I have... Uh, painter's tape that I know I'm going to apologize to McDreamy. When you have your hoop upside down and you're working like this, 
don't push on anything because all you're going to do is loosen your water soluble stabilizer and at this point we don't want to do that so i just very lightly touch it and then i'll show you what i do to make sure it's all down i think this is going to be really good i think it's a cute idea and i'm loving the technique so just lightly just lightly oh make sure the holes are covered properly so just lightly and then i'm gonna flip it and then i'm gonna push it down because it's just gonna go flat so this is what i do there we go and then check it everything's down nice and flat i can see the red through so we're good on that i also see a little a little trimmy trim i could fix being picky but i'm dying to see how this works out so we're taped on the back thank you amazing instructions following along really good. yeah that's why i printed out these pages um if you're on your ipad you could just flick to the next one and you wouldn't waste paper so normally i would do that so run the next machine step to tack the appliques in place well alrighty then can we move back to mcdreamy mcdreamy yeah Thank you. McDreamy is a brother dream machine, by the way. I just call him McDreamy. So this is just going to be a tack down, so let's whip that off. I kind of am liking that orange. So this is holding the fabric underneath in place. Looks like I did a decent job. I am going to switch over to red shortly and next time next time so looking good i don't know if purple and orange go i guess it's kind of halloweeny hey no trim what gives trim can you move the mic a little closer to you having a hard time hearing me yeah you drop out quite a bit i'm not dropping out i'm here okay back to the table don you just get your mousy voice going on it's all quiet because I'm in awe of McDreamy, and I can't <laughs> hear you, so... Oh, oh, is that it? It is. I think you're just not listening to me. What? <laughs> what What did you say, Don? Nothing. So, we're going to flip it over. We have a nice, clear view, and again, be very gentle. Now, I, I did stitch through the tape, but McDreamy and I have talked about it, and he doesn't mind that I do that. It's easy to take off if you stitch through it and it still looks good. I might have to get some tweezers out. Remember, don't push or pull anything. So while I was doing that, I was gently holding this in place while I'm, I'm uh, pulling so it doesn't pull anything out or loosen it. Um, that is how you lose registration on stuff by doing it that way. So just be careful. We have a new director for our live stream. A new director? Yep. Sarah J's directing from the chat. Oh, what is she directing? Cam, dreamy Cam. Oh! <laughs> Somebody said that in the group the other day that she was narrating to herself. Yeah. Okay, Don, back to the desk. I guess I say it a lot. Sorry. Hashtag sorry not sorry. All right, I am going to use my duckbill scissors because it's just, it's a bigger area. And we're going around the outside, so this is pretty standard stuff. And I don't want to poke the WSS. So thanks for your direction. Uh, that's awesome. I think that's hilarious too. Repetitive. All right, I am going to take smaller cuts because I'm making it kind of choppy. This part does not have to be perfect but always do it the best that you can but you see with the duck bill this kind of smooths everything along so you don't have any big you know jabs with the pointy end so it just glides along so I don't really have to worry about catching the water soluble stabilizer 
So it makes it a lot easier. I'm liking this so far. It looks like two red dots. It's your eyeballs in the morning. Oh. We could put googly eyes on it and call it a day. Yep, that's it. Googly eyes. See you next time. Oh, I'm just kidding. I love Anita Good Design designs. I um. I'm happy to do them and share because oh, I just love them. Something like this is amazing because we can learn stuff together. So flip your hoop to the front and this is where it gets, you know, you got to be careful. What we're going to do is take out the stabilizer just from these parts so I have they they show on the the picture here that they use a little seam ripper just to open it so I'm gonna hold it down because I don't want anything pulling well yeah that's pretty easy to create an opening you can't even see it it's so easy um, water soluble stabilizer is a little bit delicate so now we're gonna see how pretty this looks. All right, I am going to use my scissors here just carefully, my applique ones. I wouldn't, um, I know the WSS is delicate. I wouldn't, um, you know, pull on it. Treat it the same way as you would fabric or something when you're trimming. Now, on this part, the WSS, if you do make a, a little boo-boo and you didn't cut it close enough, we can always fix it after, right? Ah, okay. Looking good. That red peeking out looks awesome. What do you think, Don? I like it. Yeah, it's cool. It's a cool effect. The other one I want to try is um, confetti. Uh, one of the issues of Anita Good Design had... Christmas something with confetti. Uh, I've not gotten around to it, but I would like to also stitch out from this month's Anita Good Design May 2020 the gorgeous gold flowers um, wall hanging or quilt, I guess it is. Um, it looks amazing. It's so pretty. And they're hangers and they kind of connect and it's it's really nice. I want to find the blue fabric that they used because uh, it's gorgeous. It's like a royal blue. Okay, a little bit fiddly work, guys, but we're good on that. And I'm going to get rid of my fiddly bits here so we don't have little wonky pieces cutting out. Jackie Cheek says she really appreciates it so long that she's always wanted to try reverse applique. Well, there you go. Let's let's do this together, I always say. So, look like this. Follow the number of steps to stitch the decorative stitches. So now we're going to make this uh, guy look pretty because he's kind of rough right now. Or they are. The ladybugs are. They're kind of rough. But I'm off a little bit, but I'm I'm not going to worry about that too much. So looking good. Um, I love the red peeking through. So Don, back to McDreamy. McDreamy's up. I have the control to do all that at my desk, you know, right here. Did you know that? Did you know? Talking to you, Don. I'm ignoring you. Why? Let me see. Do you really? No, you don't. It's off. Yeah, if you touch it, then it goes on. Oh. Jeez, man. <laughs> so I'm just changing no. to my bright no, you red. You my cameras on me. <laughs> I could if I wanted, you know. Don't, don't you do it. Don. I don't want to go back to the desk yet. Yes. <clears throat> what do you mean, yes? What are you yesing about? <laughs> Nothing. Was that a yes, dear, yes? No. Don. Don Brown. He's giving me a hard time. Jeez. Okay, so I'm putting the red in and threading the needle. Threading the needle. Eh. Come on, McDreamy. I forgot for a second there he wasn't voice activated, so, you know. 
All right, so we're going to get some satin stitches and head of the bug in red to match the fabric. You know, if you had um, a little bit of uh, polka dot fabric, that would also be really cool if you had red and black polka dot fabrics. Oh, he's, he's cute. I just wish my top fabric went down a little bit better, but that's my fault. That's just how I did it. But no big deal, really. Ooh, that guy's so cute! Missing. I, the nerd in, in my personality, says, yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? That would be kind of awesome. Oh, maybe one day. It's hard to believe the McDreamy and the Luminaire are out in the projections and the cameras and the scannings. That's what I love. All the bells and whistles. Um, if you're not into the bells and whistles and you won't use them, then buy a different kind of machine because you're paying for bells and whistles and all that programming and computer and stuff is expensive so bells and whistles i take them all though i'm i'm pretty good with that maybe i'll be able to get a luminaire too okay that looks the, perfect the 50 off coupon code expires on the 26th I mean, okay everyone hear that the 50 percent off uh, coupon for a need a good design expires on the on May 26th. So what day is that? Tuesday? Monday, Tuesday? Yeah. Um, the a need a good design is also open the vault, which is really cool. They have some good packages and you get like 40% off. So great prices, great designs. Now this puckering you see here is my fault because I didn't iron my fabric and lay it down properly. Yeah, I know. I was looking at it from a weird angle to get around the camera. So, we're not going to we're not going to worry about these guys too much. Look at how cute that is. Criticism. Brace yourselves here comes the Norseman. Yay, hi Norseman. Okay, we're, you know what, how they did the satin stitches, Don? Did two side by side with a little groove in the middle uh, to put the decorative stitches. I think that's really cool. And that's why the bean stitches look so fantastic. Neato. But yeah, this puckering is my fault. It's how I laid down my fabric. You could put a little bit of, um, uh, heat and bond, I guess, backing on it if you wanted. I should have used the um, sticky stuff. What is that called? Check and thread the upper thread. Oh. Come on, my dream. I am going to restart because it looks like it's stuck in a weird spot. Remember to always pull in the direction that your machine is sewing because you don't want to mess up the tension and whatnot. So cut it from the top, pull it from the bottom, you will be good to go. Alright, so McDreamy just kind of messed up there, but that's okay. That's okay, McDreamy. Jeff Chandler says I should get you a, a luminaire. Uh, yeah. And, and I said, hey, can I borrow some money? <laughs> can I get a loan? I don't know why Don has to get it for me. You can get it yourself. Just not from that one place. We'll go to the new place. We're not spending money at that guy's place anymore. All right, so I don't think I have to back up any, do I? Maybe a smidge. It's always important to back up. Oh yeah, I do for sure. I 
I think that should be good enough. A lot of beeping going on. Yeah, I had to back up. Not me personally, but McDreamy. And he has to make the backing up truck noises. Beep, beep, beep. Is it real magic what you're making up? No. It turns your um, fabric into stiff, horrible paper. No, it's the goody stick from Gunold. I should have just uh, quickly put a piece on that. It only takes a second, but I didn't. So we're going to work with it, and we're going to see how this is going to turn out at the end. Because sometimes you may have puckers like that. And I just didn't put the fabric down uh, flat enough when I was doing it. That's the only reason why it looks like that. Um, but we'll see how it works out in the end. Sometimes it doesn't. A little bit of puckering can, uh, you know, if you were leaving it just with these two things on it, I would start again. But we are adding other stitches and another applique. And my feeling is it's going to cover it up and be just Jim Dandy. That's what I think. So the rest of this is kind of um, sewing. Oh, we have an one more applique to do. So I'm just getting my yellow thread going on, because I think that's next. Woo, come on. The other thing I like about um, McDreamy is that he's quiet. You can't, like, he, I can still talk over McDreamy, you know, the whole bit. I think uh, sometimes with the multi-needle, the noise is annoying. Annoying noise. So far, I'm loving this, other than the puckering. But that's okay. Yes, okay, so I'm going to change the thread because we're going to do a decorative stitch. This probably would have been really good on Ragnar, which is my 10-needle brother. PR1000E, my friend. We name all of our machines, so he's Ragnar because he kind of stands out from the crowd and likes to be on an adventure. It's cool. And I wouldn't have so many color changes, but bear with me. Do -do -do. All right, decorative stitches time, people. Yay. I don't know why I chose yellow. I just thought maybe it would stand out a bit more. And we're going to do some nice bean stitches. Yeah, that's really cute. Look how that stands out. I guess I could have done black or white even. Awesome. I just picked yellow because I know yellow applique is coming up next, so it'll save me a thread change. And we're gonna try this yellow, purple, and green fabric to see. So, when you're doing an applique, what's the first step? placement. Let's do this placement. I'm going to cut up my, while I'm talking to you guys, I'm going to cut up my fabric into smaller pieces. You only need three. So again, little scraps of your favorite fabric is going to work just fine for this one. Yep. And these are what's making it purdy. So again, I'm hoping it'll cover up the puckers. Eh, a little bit of puckering isn't the end of the world, is it, Don? There's a Sarah J, I think it was, said, what's a bit of puckering between friends? <laughs> now, I didn't wait for McDreamy to signal me because I could see that he was not threaded. So let's do that again, shall we? And it seems to be a little stuck. Hmm. Got it now. The, the 
mods are making plans to come and hang out with us. <laughs> oh, anytime, mods. <laughs> anytime. Well. So we need to go to Sue and Don's and hang out. Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah, it would be fun. That would be amazing. Um, we can't get into your country and you can't get into ours yet, but once once that changes, then we should do that. I could spend hours and hours talking to you guys, that's for sure. Wouldn't that be fun? We could, we could plan a, a, a meet-up shopping trip, fabric shopping trip somewhere. And yeah. Plan to hit a bunch of stores together. And spend I'm thinking time. Vegas. That would be fun. <laughs> do, they get, Vegas. do they have good fabric stores in Vegas? I, I don't know, but... <laughs> you might have fun doing other things. M maybe. Yeah, that would be a great idea. That would be fun. So, I'm just gonna just lightly place them down one at a time. Now, I think I can probably set them off, set them up nicely. I'm gonna... They're really small pieces, so... Congressman sent you in a unicorn. A unicorn? Why, thank you. I'll stab Don with it. Nope. That Karina says, oh, Vegas, I'm in. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? I just think it would be great. Flights to Vegas are usually pretty good. Oh, I just think we'd have a blast. So, I'm setting it up. I'm stitching it down. It's going to stitch it down twice. I should have perhaps fussy cut the fabric just a little bit more, maybe. Pam Rollins says, I'm in. Can us non-moderators join up? Yep. <laughs> I think it would be fun. That'd be awesome. What we need to do, Don, is win the jackpot, and then we can pay for everyone. I got a ticket from last night, so I'll just check it. Yeah, do you think we'll win? No. It's possible. You never know. Oh, it's not gonna stitch. All right, we have green next. Okay, we gotta trim these guys though. Don, back to the desk, please. Desk is up. So so far, I think. Uh, it's good. I'm I'm pretty happy with it. Where? Am, oh, I pulled my other she scissors away. Patchy. Patchy. Scrappy. Well, give me a sec. Yeah, these are quite small pieces. So. So this is these are normal appliques. These are regular appliques. So we're just doing them: placement, tack down, trim. But it's going to do these really cute little flowers inside it, which is even prettier, I think. I wasn't, I wasn't sure. I didn't really look closely into it. But yeah, it's going to do yellow and I'm going to do orange flowers inside and maybe red flowers around it. It's very detailed, small detailed give you an insight in small stitching like that. It's cool. This is tiny appliques though, but I guess it is a bookmark. I don't know if you'd want a huge bookmark either. I suppose. All right, so I kind of like this um, flower fabric. It may be a little bit too busy, but it may be just fine. I can't really tell yet. I like that the purples match, so that part is good. Ooh, go. Go then. It's little itty bitty trimming, Don. You can do it. I know. Just take your time. Take your time. It gets done. I don't want to rush anything. Well, these guys are spectacular. This is really well done. I I like the reverse cut work. I think it's cute. I am going to look through my Anita Good Design stash and see 
if I can find something else with bigger cutwork things on it because I really like it. I think it's a groovy effect to have it underneath like that. Don't you think? It looks yeah. almost like magical. It's magic. How did you do that? I'm not telling you how I did it. Right. And the stitches, stitch in the ditch kind of thing here, they look perfect. What a brilliant, brilliant thing. Um, it's awesome. So, Don, back to the dream machine, please. Your dream is up. And we are going to start stitching some leaves. So, I picked, uh, I need scissors. I picked a glorious green for the flowers. I wanted something bright, cheery, and, you know, springy, I guess. Don't know why I, w I was trying to cut down there, but, you know. Caffeine, I need caffeine. Maybe sugar. That was directed at you, Don. Uh, I was ignoring you. Why do you do that? <laughs> You're sitting right here. Men. That's what I'm supposed to do. Isn't it? I'm just uh, sorry for the dead screen there. Oh, there we go. I couldn't get the end of my... Whoop, there we go. You heard that? Awesome green thread out of the thread saver part at the bottom. That holds it. We're having issues. Who? You. I'm not. It sounded like you were. You were talking about it. Was it was thread, damn it. Oh, and right. I just put my, like, close-up of my whole entire arm in front of the camera. I didn't bump it, though, Karina, so na na na. Na na na. Na na Okay, so we're going to do some leaves around the bunches of flowers. And we have a darker green to do you know the detail work on the leaves let's see how my green looks Jenna Nelson said she broke down about Kingstar Metallic oh you're gonna love that stuff I suppose I could have used a whole lot of Kingstar Metallic but for this bookmark it would stitch fine I was kind of more about the you know, design and the technique as opposed to the wonderful distraction of metallic thread. So I didn't. I didn't. How's the chat coming along, Don? I haven't really been watching it. Everyone's liking this bookmark? No, they're loving it. Alicia says she's having trouble keeping up with you. Sandy says she doesn't sew during the lot because it's easier to wait and replay and then you can pause it. Yeah, a lot of people do that. Because the, the chat is so much fun. It's like getting together with all your friends that speak the same language as you do. We all speak embroidery. So you can watch and learn and then stitch after. You can watch it again. It's always going to be on YouTube. Um, and then, you know, stitch it out. Whatever you prefer. I I'm really happy with this. I can only imagine what the other ones would look like. The really pretty ones with the, the kind of bigger flowers. So, reverse cut work done. I like it. I like it too. I'm, I'm thinking those um, little ladybugs. I'm going to have to incorporate some reverse cut work into our reverse applique into our uh, designs. Well, I think we should. Is anyone up for that? Can you picture a mug rug with reverse cut work? Something interesting? It's a little bit more work, but from what I see here, it's worth it. I like the effect. I like the style. I'm loving that green that I picked. Thank you, Exquisite. It's awesome. This is the thread that comes in these brilliant storage bins. Um, it's Anita, no, Express, right? Anita's Express, yes. and it's Peek a Bookmark. Like Peekaboo, but with a bookmark. Let me just get the front page. And this design has a number on it. If you have it and if you're looking for it, it's AEPAB6. 
So I think there's like 10 designs and I really, really, really had a hard time deciding which one to do because I like the ones with the tulips. I like the hearts. There's so many of them there, cute. I wanted to go for some purple and some bright, so. Um, again, if you don't, don't worry about, um... Karina put a link in the chat. Oh, well, thank you, Karina. Much appreciated. You guys are great. And the six is because it's the sixth one in that package, right? I have no idea how they... There's a bunch of them. There's ten, I said. Yeah. Yeah, there's ten of them. So the detail work is spectacular. And if you guys look, my puckerings aren't as puckery now. And I'm kind of happy about that. It's not too bad. Still a little bit, but it's not as noticeable. And that's what I was hoping for. Sometimes the puckering like that will just totally ruin your whole design. But if you put other elements on it, no problem. We're going to, after this, I think, oh, after this, we're going to do the dark green, and then we're going to do some details, flowers, little, little itty bitty flowers. So these are a bunch of flowers. And I think it's a great look as well. I think we'll, I don't know if Lynn is reading in the summer. It's hot in here. Um, Maybe Sam might like this one. I don't know. Or mom. Mom who's self-quarantined by herself in her house. And it's been, we're working on two and a half months. I know we're not supposed to talk about this, Karina. But we can talk about Don's mom. So it'll be nice when we can all get out again. I am going nowhere, however. Um... Because I have heart condition, I'm more at risk. So I just stay inside and stitch. Our backyard's I, lovely now. And our yeah, backyard's lovely. Still yes. Still gotta do a bit more, but it's nice. What did the hounds do yesterday, Don? Come over and tell people what the hounds did. Because our our hounds are they're rescued dogs. We always talk about them. Well, I had a nicely coiled pile of hose sitting there, and they decided they were going to drag it out in the middle of the yard and chew on it. Yeah, they thought it was a toy. It, it was, it, the bad. It the, was not awesome. Well, now it, I got now I got to check it for holes. <laughs> just turn it on. <laughs> That's now, the easy now way. It's, it's one of those new sprinkler hoses. Oh, oh. We've always wanted one. Now well, we have one. Just send the hounds on it. Yeah. They are having so much fun, and that's the important thing, right? Fun. Okay, so needlework needlework detail work rather let's uh get her done so this is just the little things that make the design so much better it's detail work oh those boys they are having so much fun though um we want to eventually take mr tank our newest guy to the dog park I don't think he's ever seen a dog park or played in a dog park, but I'm anxious to see that dog go. Our hunting boy. Our treeing walker coon hound. I still say we should have called him Cooney. George, George Cooney. Cooney. Yep. Let's uh, change it. I'm with you. Oh, now? In front of everybody? I was with you the whole time. It's everyone else that says no. Well, I don't care what everyone else says ooh isn't that pretty the detail work that makes it so detail done <laughs> properly is what makes it quite down over there sorry jeez jeez louise <laughs> janet nelson thank you very much oh that guy's cute with a heart yay i agree sue that would be a good name thank you sharon yeah he's a coon hound so the first thing i thought of is Cooney. George Cooney. And I think it would be really funny to call your dog and George Cooney, George Cooney. I think everyone would laugh, but yeah. All good fun. 
Yes, I love this bookmark. Even like this with the flowery background, I think it's stunning. The detail work. I think maybe the around might have been better in like black or white or something. I don't mind the yellow. It kind of ties it in, but I think it might be a little bit better. But, you know, play with the colors. Have you guys uh, stitched out the Dala horses yet? I showed you guys what I did. Yeah, I think I posted. You never do. Hey. Don't hey me. Hey. Ow. Was there a level of bossiness in your coffee this morning? Did you... Did, oh. You got coffee beans with extra sass? <laughs> No, B ordered that. It's not here yet. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, great. So, okay, the next is satin stitches around the appliques. Now, they have white. I think I am going to do yellow for that to kind of bring everything together. Let's see if it works. Not red. I have red on the other spool holder on my machine. I keep putting my hand in front of the camera, so I'm going to try not to do that. So many things. Don't bump the camera. Don't put your hand on it. Block the view. Block the view. Well, I don't... I think they've probably seen me thread McDreamy a gazillion times, so... There's a lot in this one. Well, there's a lot of color changes, but yeah. I don't care. Yeah, it's, good, it's beautiful. It's worth all the changes. Yeah, absolutely. So we have some flowers to do. We have flowers in the bouquet to do. By the bouquet, I mean this part for whatever reason. And then little flowers around and put the back on and we're done. So I really think this is awesome. Different techniques, it's really cool. It gets my mind going. Like it it keeps my mind going, hmm, it's inspirational to, to try it step by step. Yeah, let's do some thumbs up. I'm just uh, looking at, see what people are talking about. I'm waiting for a need to get designed to release those animals that they show them. We were showing it in the last one's magazine. Which animals? Uh, Oh, they were beautiful. There's always um, something for everyone in that the each month's collection. And I try to show you guys what you can do. Like, for example, the half quarter turn quilt is one of my favorites, like, ever. Um, Suzanne Shep did gorgeous ones, and she actually made a quilt out of it. But I changed all the colors to Halloween colors, and it was amazing. I even made a mistake, and I figured out how to incorporate it in, as I do. Uh, one of my favorite things. I'm looking forward to starting the bouquet chains. Yes! For some reason, that catches my attention so much. That would be a Ragnar video when I started. Maybe I could do what I mean, like a time lapse. I don't know if you guys enjoy those. I certainly do. I could sit and watch my machines all day. You learn so much about digitizing by doing that. So, um, yeah, we'll be doing more stitch longs and. I'll be doing um, separate videos too and just uploading them when they're done. No particular time or anything. If you are subscribed to the channel, make sure you click the little bell and uh, beside it and you will be notified every time I put up a new video, whether it's a live, whether it's a pre-recorded one, you will get notified. and. Uh, that's really helpful because sometimes we just decide to go live and hop on just like as a surprise a surprise live That's awesome Just if we feel like it and have time we just do that or I'll do a video and just put it up randomly 
I hope everyone who is subscribed to a Need a Good Design is going to go digital as well. It's a sweet deal. It's a really good deal, and I think it's a smart way to go. I think it's a smart way to go. I, I love putting, uh, looking through it on the iPad. It's awesome. Yeah, I like it. I, I find it um, really nice because I always have my iPad with me, so when I'm sitting upstairs, I tend to, you know, go over manuals or something like that if I got stuck on something, but I would love to flip through the Anita Good Design and have a whole stash of them on there. I think it would be really nice. I like the yellow around the outside. Now it's kind of cool. This is just a little bit of purple and the rest is yellow and same for that. It's almost pretty good placement. So yeah, it ties everything in. Look at those leaves. I love it. I think the leaves are awesome. So now I think we're gonna do some little flowers, which will be cool. So they look kind of weird. Oh, it's the offset ones. All right, I'm gonna do them in yellow because I think this yellow shows up enough and that's what I planned on doing and then I'm going to do the rest of the flowers in kind of a burnt orange which is basically see if I can carefully point basically this color inside so I think it should go oh they're cute yeah they're cute little flowers it matches the outside but that's also okay I like it Ah, oh, that's so pretty. They're just little perfect flowers. Excellent. I don't know what it's stitching there. Maybe the... Oh, it's probably the centers for the other flowers. Okay, I was wondering. I was thinking that's a little odd. Cindy Revan says my granddaughter would love this one. We call her Lilybug for ladybugs. And purple is her favorite color. Yeah, there you go. See, the, you can figure out your own, work with what you've got, I always say. So little scraps, put them all together, and you might be surprised at the color schemes that you can get into, uh, and it's really cool. Just little, these are particularly little pieces, but scraps that you have on the smaller end will work just perfectly. Can I, can I have a bookmark? I want to use it on my ebook. Yeah. It's cool. still cute. You can put it inside the cover. Just for fun. Just for fun, yeah. Just for fun. I think this would be, um, well, I think any bookmarks would be a great gift. I don't know if you guys remember, I might be dating myself here, but in the 80s, bookmarks were all the rage. Oh, I had a bunch of them. I had Garfield I ones. I actually used and to read it. I had a lot more. Probably. I, I read all the time. But it used to be almost a badge of honor to have the latest bookmarks so yeah yeah the latest one the star wars one or i guess we in the 80s was the era of rock bands so they had bookmarks too yep yep so i think we should uh, bring back bookmarks to that level and encourage people to read or not. I am going to make a bookmark for my e-reader. I think it should have it now that you mentioned it. That might be silly. Yeah. Are you going to do the reverse cut work on it? Yeah. Yeah. I really think it's neat. You know, if you have even a larger area for the reverse cut work, you could stitch some details in there no problem. Which I think would be cool. Reverse cut work with details on it. That is Make one for Don's Den. Don's Den. Well, yeah. What would you put on it? A big gun? No, I already have an idea. Oh, what's your idea? Um, no, I was thinking of um, a fishing one. A fishing one? Yeah. Oh. I would think everyone would love that, Don. Fishing or hunting, I was thinking more. Hunting, hunting yeah. but 
Yeah, great. A wilderness type one? I got a couple ideas. I think it would be cool to do trees with this style. Yeah. Like a scene almost, trees right? Trees and the bear. And, yeah, you could do I, cut work on the bear. That's kind of what I was thinking, the scene. Well, see? Learn a new technique. It's inspirational. Whoops. Come on. There we go. Thank you. Hmm. What? I was having a hard time catching the cutter thingy. Green, this is a bookmark with Yoda green lettering that says, read, you must. <laughs> That'd work. What happened? What happened, McDreamy? You got a little tangle? Okay, let's fix that. Yeah, Father's Day is coming up. I, just, I should see if I can come up with a couple of ideas to throw up there. Don't throw up, please. No? Please don't throw up. Yeah, Father's Day is coming up. When is it? I don't know uh, exactly. I don't know, a couple of weeks. All right, these are the burnt orange flowers. So they should stand out nicely. I think this will be good. Kind of adding in another color, but oh yeah, isn't that pretty? Okay, I'm so happy with this. So we've got a few more details to do. It's gonna do two orange, uh, burnt, burnt orange flowers in each. So I'm gonna check the chat. You can get holographic faux leather. Really? That would be cool for a bookmark. Ooh, someone just ordered there from uh, I Need a Good Design to get these uh, designs and practice their skill. Nice. Really, McDreamy? Come on, man. How many times do I have to thread you, for goodness sakes? One more, he says. At least one more. Father's Day in Norway is in November. November? Really? Interesting. That is cool. Ours has always been, you know, in June. Mother's Day is May. and I guess you don't really think about it, but you think like Mother's Day and Father's Day would be all the same, but it's not. No. I don't know why you'd think it would be. I don't know. I think even in England they have different days than we do which i find surprising but. okay could we stitch now please just backing up a bit because he stitched holy cow all right that was holy beeping, Batman. i know i know you don't want to oh you don't want to miss the locking stitch and you don't want to go back like not quite far enough so let's see how he do does maybe mcdreamy just doesn't like itty bitty flowers so okay what are we talking about i have my day every day the norseman well then la di da <laughs> um no Okay, so this idea of the background applique and the flowers, little flowers inside it, I I really like it. It really gives, uh, it's nothing that I would have um, thought of doing. But, you know, if I had done instead of yellow, these are pretty, actually, the little flowers. If I had done maybe a darker purple and put lilac flowers in it, that would have been spectacular as well. I like the yellow. It's nice and bright. But now that I'm seeing it stitch out and what it looks like, I am thinking, you know, different shades of purple would be awesome. I like the orange flowers. I probably should have done something brighter for the yellow one. It still looks good, but 
just, you know, ideas for when you guys are stitching it. You can see the yellow ones, but maybe, maybe even a lilac one would have looked good. I love lilacs. They're so awesome. Ours are beautiful this year. So detail work is amazing on this. Now, what color do you guys think I should do for the outside? I was thinking, yeah, should I add another color in? I don't think I have purple metallic. They're not there anymore. I moved them. Sorry, I moved them. I moved them. So everyone having fun in uh, the chat? I just keep seeing it out of the corner of my eye scrolling away. It's kind of, in for the Saturday one, I don't get to see the chat too much because I'm at my machine facing a different way. I try to keep an eye on it. And the Wednesdays, I can actively participate in it. And it's kind of fun. So, purple with orange. I don't know what that word is. So the sky's the limit centers. with this centers. Yeah, sorry, it's far away and I can't see. I can't see it well enough. Come come up close and look at this, Don. Oh, wait. What are you doing? Mick Dreamy. He didn't pull out all the way this time, so good. I just want you to look at the detail up close we'll be able to oh, show yeah that's nice yeah it looks much better up close doesn't need, it need the black polka dots and the ladybugs well if you had a little bit of polka dot fabric <coughs> that yeah. would be absolutely incredible that would be good they're they're about blueprint. <laughs> what said so they're talking about blueprint well, it's dramatic, Don. It's dramatic. I I first wanted to say I don't believe it because the majority of the fabric I use is from Blueprint. Um, and I wonder why they're closing because there's so many people that use it. I personally pay the annual subscription so I could watch all the classes, but... I'm just kind of sad. I don't know where I'm going to get my gorgeous fabric at those prices. Know what I mean? Yep. Take advantage of the sale, though. I did, yeah. I pay the fee monthly. Uh, at this point, it was probably a good idea now, wasn't it? Maybe. Maybe. So, a couple more flowers. I think I'm going to do them in the orange just to keep it bright. And it does centers or something for other ones. So, there must be more. Yeah, me too. It's just a handy reference. Like, I'm trying to learn how to sew, and they've got so many videos on it. Or, um, I can do the sewing and the quilting fairly well, but binding a quilt is beyond me, so I just study it for a couple of days and follow along, and I can do it. So, yeah, I, do, I don't know. Ooh, I like the orange. Stands out a little bit. Yeah, I like it. I like it. So cute. It's so cute. So, okay, and that I need a good design. Yeah, uh, everyone's loving this design as much as I do cuz yeah, it's awesome. Apparently Hobby Lobby's closing. Hobby Lobby. Really? I think a lot of people we don't have that here in Canada, but I think a lot of people really like it. What 
What's it doing in there? Oh, centers. Oh well, I have mine matched, so Let's see how that looks. Yeah, it still looks good. Little monochrome flowers. Heck, why not? I just love their little flowers. It's lovely. So what does Hobby Lobby, Hobby Lobby have? I hear people have great deals at Hobby Lobby, but we've never been in one, so... We've been in Joann's before. Soon there won't be a place to get crafting or sewing supplies. Sure there will be. There'll be quilt stores and Michael's will always be around. Uh, I think everything is just moving to online stuff is, is what's happening, which is fine. I mean, you can buy, I buy fabric online all the time. So it's like a Michael's on steroids. No way. Oh, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. Okay, so this is turning out to be simply gorgeous. We're almost done here. Just the detail work, and this is always true for I need a good design. The detail work is fantastic. It's wow. And I love it. You could play around with the flower colors a, a little bit more. It's very pretty. Uh, it's and very. like the small flowers. Pardon? He doesn't like the small flowers. Who doesn't? McDreamy. No, I know. This is the center of the small flowers, and I'm thinking I'm going to skip by it because we're good. Um, it's, it's a little bit annoying. Oh, is it this? Yeah. All right, we are going to skip over to the second to last bit, and we're going to have to do some trimming, and I'll give you guys a real closer look at the details. Now, all I skipped there was the centers of the flowers. They're the same color anyways, so not having it just shows the fabric... Um, behind it so it looks good all right so we're gonna put the back on now you can tape it or however you want but I like to play on the embroidery edge with checks <laughs> I'm gonna check peak yeah we have more than enough I hope it doesn't go off too far now I have a big enough piece that I can play embroidery chicken just fine. So let's play. Um, you could, you should probably take it off the hoop and make sure it's positioned properly. Now the fabric, um, when you have your hoop turned upside down, the back fabric should be face up. So it looks pretty. So, okay, securing the back on. I think I'm going to do the satin stitches in orange. Um, yeah, yeah, I kind of like how Matches it looks. Everything. Yeah, brings out the orange. It's a odd color combination, but sometimes it works. ba -doo. Finish your dance, McDreamy. All right, back to the desk, Don. Desk is up. Yay, I did it. I did the back. That's the first thing I check when I take risks like that. <laughs> Make sure it's okay. So I'm going to tell me what the view is. Is it clear, Don? Down just a little bit. Okay. Right there. You can see the detail work. Uh, this is my favorite thing so far is the reverse so cut work. That's just two satin stitches and then stitched in the ditch. It looks like it, yeah. yeah or maybe that's, with a... That's a neat technique. Yeah, yeah. It looks um, amazing, actually. I was like, wow. Yeah, I love it. That is a, a good technique that uh, you should write yourself a note, Don, and play with it. Because that's... I think I might. Yeah, it looks 
incredible. When you guys stitch this out, you'll see what we're ooing and awing about in total nerdness. Because we are. I just love embroidery stuff and new things and learning new things honestly makes me very happy. And I love the way this one is coming together. I love the technique. I love how this works. So I am happy with the flowery background because it, it gives it some depth. And with the different colors kind of poking out, it looks like there could be more flowers in the bunch. See, green says it needs black dots too. Yeah, I don't have any polka dot fabric so you could go in and add some circles in the proper time or a sharpie no don't use a sharpie i'm just kidding uh, and, and with, a sh <clears throat> with a sharpie it'll bleed a little bit onto the fabric yeah that's why i'm just kidding do not use a sharpie <laughs> i did not say that um just a little bit of fabric would do it i think it would be really good with um polka dots on it so and you don't have to do ladybugs that are red so if you have you know a different colored polka dot fabric say navy blue or something there's no reason why you can't use that i think the polka dots would look really cute yeah experiment a little bit you don't have to stick to what everyone else does so i think you know, a navy blue polka dotted bug. It could be some wild version of ladybug. You never know. Things like that. Things like that. All right, back to the machine. Dreamy's up. All right, so I have everything nicely trimmed. I lost my director. Oh, why? I don't know. She stopped directing. Well, I do say it a lot. I do say it a lot. Oh, I love this. Also, before you stitch the satin stitches on the outside, if you change your bobbin to match, which I never do, um, I think today I'm going to blame that on Dawn, just because, um, it gives the back a really, really nice look. Um, nice and clean. Because there'll be nothing on it and beautiful, in this case, orange satin stitches. I did a little bit of a crappy crap job on trimming. So uh, let's see if the zigzag stitches, which are my favorite thing to do in applique because it holds everything down so well. And you do have a moment, say you had a piece sticking out. Once it's done the zigzag stitch, you could stop it and maybe trim that up and recover recover it that way. So that's why I love zigzag stitches. It holds everything down so well. So we'll see if I have to do that, because I might. Because I kind of did a crappy job on that side. It's possible. It's possible. Just gives you a second chance to recover. I think I'm okay, though. It looks like I'm okay. Yep, a uh, little bit there, but I think those are just threads, so. Two zigzag runs? Well, that's going to make a gorgeous. Be a nice edge. Yep, it's going to be a nice edge. All these little techniques that you can learn by watching stuff stitching out, and all of Anita Good Design stuff stitches out really well. So how much have I learned in this one? Applique shape with um, flowers over it like that looks fantastic. The, of course, the technique that this is all about. Um, reverse cut the um, ladybugs the way the outside is done and two passes of zigzag so i you've learned what you can come here and say it so they can actually hear you i just said uh, i've learned i've learned a lot picked up a couple of different techniques yeah yeah which i think is cool i love learning new stuff um but isn't that neat just from watching one stitch out i think when everyone starts out in embroidery as a beginner 
buy embroidery designs or use the ones that are built in on your machine even better and spend some time watching them stitch out what they do and how they do it and you can learn a lot that way it's a really nice crisp edge and it stands out a bit more so with it's raised and everything. yeah you know what that's awesome and the orange is a great color the orange is a, it's kind of a burnt orange as opposed to a pumpkin-y oh, kind of orange uh yeah i just thought the way that the orange flowers are standing out i think it would look good that is an awesome satin stitch that looks amazing this is more beautiful than i thought it would be using my own colors and putting my own spin on it it's um it's fantastic springy bright colors yeah the orange does look good it's an odd combination but sometimes odd combinations work i like it so what's happening in the chat um black marker and some dots on the book no we're not going to use a black marker norseman no i said no maybe i'll put some black stickers on it or something as a temporary effect um what are you guys talking about are there any questions about the techniques and you can let me know in the comments i'd be really interested to see what you guys have learned from this stitch along because Don and I have learned a bit, some new techniques and stuff. I love orange and purple. Well, thank you, Sandra. That's <laughs> awesome. Norseman says small googly eyes. Yeah, there's always a place for googly eyes. Oh, that's the fun thing about Ragnar is that he has googly eyes. And it took people forever to notice <laughs> and say, are those eyes? Do you have eyes on it? Pam Rollins says you can always glue a couple of black sequins on it for dots. Well, wouldn't that be cute? A little bit of bling. Oh, we could do that too. I'll uh, I'll dig up some stuff and Puffy see if paint, fabric paint. That's a f you guys are awesome. See, yeah, creative. That is called being creative. You're thinking outside the box. Don't let anyone tell you you can't put bling or sequins or anything um, on a bookmark. Yes, you can. Do what you want. If you think it looks good, and I think any one of those designs would look good. I think, I think that would be actually beautiful. And you know what? You could put little ones in the centers of the flowers, too. Oh yeah, the heat crystals, yep. But you could put really tiny ones in the centers of the flowers. Um, I might do that actually because I know I have some and I think that would be the finishing touch. So uh, I will do that and I will uh, post a picture up in the OML, excuse me, embroidery university facebook group because this has been fantastic for a lesson and simply a gorgeous gorgeous bookmark i really love it so um david weaver okay just got the designs woohoo that's awesome have, have fun because they're nice yeah they're nice so anyone who's stitching out the designs be it this one or a different one make sure you post it in um, the group we actually have another group that we work with a lot and it's the Anita Good Design Fanatics group and that is a great place to um, share your designs as well so Don and I are running it if anyone wants to volunteer to um, help moderate or whatever. It's not, there's not a whole bunch of rules to it. It's just a need a good design. Everything you need a good design. Everything you need a good design. So. Just a happy place to share your stuff. Yeah, and you can see some of the other stuff that people are doing, and it is spectacular, some of the designs. So, um, yeah, feel free to join that, and feel free to, to post 
your own bookmarks in both groups because the Anita Good Design people will be going, wow, okay, I have it, I'm gonna stitch it. This, this is truly awesome. And one thing I'd like to say, all my puckers have disappeared, which I was pretty sure um, that it would work out. Is next week's design the June door? Uh, you could be right on that. Well, it might be. It might be. Look, you've got a calendar in front of you, Don. Whew! Uh, Thank goodness some people know what day it is. Your, yeah, your calendar's wrong. <laughs> oh, the wait. one on my desk. I was looking at the one on the wall. I can't reach the one on the wall anymore. It drives me nuts. Wait for the happy third, song. Yeah, it would be the 30th, so maybe not. She probably will release it on the Thursday. Okay, well then, possibly. Yes, you are right. Thank you so much. I am glad that somebody knows what day it is. Yeah, it does come out Thursday, they, they're saying. Don, can you take us back to the desk? I can do that, yes. Desk is up. A little bit there, but I don't think anyone would notice. I... I can't tell you guys how happy I am with this. Wow. Oh, looks like we need to do a little bit of tension with McDreamy. So if I had had the matching thread, the white wouldn't show. I'm not worried about that. McDreamy needs a bit of a tension adjustment. So we'll work on that. So carefully cut it out. Probably don't do it as close as I am, but we do lots of things like this. Um, then you just take a little bit of water and get rid of the edges. Okay, so this satin stitch is spectacular. That is a very clever way of doing it to make it stand out. Are you coming over to see? Yeah, I want to I wanna feel it. Yep. Yeah, it's a beautiful edge. It's a beautiful edge. Now, if you want this to be a bit thicker or sturdier, you can put batting in it, um, the fabric and the batting. Now, you have to iron this as well to make sure everything looks fantastic. But you could put batting in it. Just It'll make this part a little more difficult. Look at these the circles around it. They're so perfect. And the flowers, hopefully you guys get a really good view of this. So I think some little black bling there and there. And I think little bright colors, little itty bitty ones in there. Could you, um, instead of adding anything to it because of the small flower stitches and stuff, could you just starch that? Is that possible? Or yeah, I think you could. And then that would stiffen it up. Yeah, I think you could. Uh, in fact, that's probably what I'm going to do. I give it a good iron. Just remember when you're ironing that if you iron it too hot, you could melt the thread, and it's not very nice to do. So use a, a cover on it, and because um, you could see it's kind of crooked there. It's like crooked. And uh, make it pretty. You could also poke a hole there for a grommet, and then you can make... I would make like an orange tassel or something that's easy. So, um, I'm really happy. I, I think this is stunning. It is beautiful. So, uh, step outside the box, do some different colors, add your own embellishments. It's not a mug rug or anything, so it can be pretty as you want and add embellishments. And, uh, we learned a lot. I hope you guys learned a lot as well. How do you keep the edges from getting stiff and starchy? Have you guys noticed this? More water. It just means you left too much of it. It's basically a sheet of starch in a way. Um, you basically left too too much of the WSS on it. So um, some people would soak this and you have to leave it soak for a while or run it under water to get the WSS out from it because if it gets wet it's the whole thing's gonna get stiff um, I tend to just leave it um, I don't have too many problems with waters getting on it but 
Yeah, it's basically just starch, so sticky starch, so you don't have to worry about it. Now, the way I trimmed it is barely anything there, so I just take a Q-tip and water. It's unsanitary, but lick my finger and, and just do it because I cut it so tight. If you have more, say you have, um, you don't want to cut too closely, and you cut it like that, you can wet here and pull gently of course and it'll basically cut it off here if that makes sense hopefully that makes sense to you guys and then you have much less to do so that's another trick just wet it close to where you want it it doesn't matter if you get this part wet and you kind of pull it and you won't have as much excess to deal with so two layers of stitching lines can be very decorative one on top of the other yeah yeah this is why i'm loving this it looks like seriously it was meant to be that is my new favorite thing right there awesome. I, i'm really happy i hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for all being here did we go over uh oh, we went over time sorry about that did we? yeah it's 11 30. i was having so oh, much wow. fun yeah. Almost that's almost a two hour video. Well there's a lot of um there's a lot of detail in it. What can you do, right? Alrighty. So thank you guys. I hope you learned something. I cannot wait to see what you guys uh stitch up and the colors that you use. These are amazing. I hope you guys really like it. Keep learning, keep learning. <laughs> we love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone. Have a great weekend.